Every so often, Pentecost falls a Memorial Day weekend. On the one hand, they seem to be very different and completely unrelated with no apparent connection to each other. Memorial Day is viewed as a secular holiday, often celebrated with family and friends around the pool and grill with patriotic parades and speeches in our local communities. Pentecost, on the other hand, is considered a religious holy day where we celebrate the outpouring of the Holy Spirit and the birth of our church. And yet, I believe it is fitting that these two days coincide on occasion to remind us that they are far more connected than what we think. Both are celebrations, both are holy days, both are memorials. Pentecost is a forgotten memorial, and yet it is one of the most momentous days in human history. At Pentecost, we remember the mission of the apostles, the martyrs, and those Christians across the centuries who have gone before us. And it's not only a holy day, but it's also a holiday where we celebrate the gift of the Holy Spirit because of Christ's sacrifice on the cross. Similarly, Memorial Day is not just a holiday, but it too is a holy day of grateful remembrance of those whose sacrifice allows us to celebrate both of these days. It is a day where we become the witness to the fallen and their voices to the world. I first began to get this sense of a connection between Pentecost and Memorial Day weekend while standing on the cliffs of Normandy overlooking Omaha Beach. And then walking through the American cemetery with thousands of crosses and stars of David. It was hallowed and sacred ground, a profoundly moving and emotional experience. You know, no one can go and visit that cemetery without being changed or feeling a deep sense of gratitude. But I also think it leaves those that visit that cemetery a renewed sense of purpose for their own lives. What better way to honor the fallen than for us to live a holy and honorable life so that their sacrifice would not be in vain. We are their legacy. Pentecost, the birthday of the church with the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, is not just an event that happened 20 centuries ago. Rather, it is ongoing. It transcends time and place and language and culture. It fills up our hearts and kindles us with the fire of God's love. Pentecost reminds us that throughout the ages, the Holy Spirit has raised up countless missionaries, martyrs, and witnesses to God's goodness, including ourselves for the benefit of others. At Pentecost, we remember the moment when the first disciples received the power that allowed them to carry on the mission that was given to them by Jesus. And it is the same spirit that energizes us on our own Christian mission. Pentecost serves as a sign of God's presence which empowers us to live out our Catholic faith and to carry forward the witness of God's love and mercy to the world by putting our faith into action. Each of us, as we heard in our reading to the Corinthians, has within us the Holy Spirit 
who blesses us with gifts that we each express in our own unique ways. The Holy Spirit is limitless and timeless and still going. It is the invisible soul of the visible church. It descended upon us at our baptism and we were sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit at confirmation. The Holy Spirit was with Mother Teresa and with the many others across the century who care for the needy, the sick, the forgotten, the dying, the hungry, the homeless. The Holy Spirit was with millions of Americans across our country who attended Mass or knelt in prayer on their porches or at their places of business when the D-Day invasion of Normandy to liberate Europe became known 79 years ago. It was the spirit that led Saint Elizabeth of Hungary to feed the poor, Saint Stephen to be martyred, and it was the Holy Spirit that dared the apostles to go to the four corners of the known world to proclaim the risen Christ. You and I are heirs and beneficiaries of that first Pentecost and to the sacrifice of others throughout the centuries who have cleared the pathway for us to walk in their footsteps. We are also heirs and beneficiaries of those who gave their last full measure of service to our country. The flame and the torch have now been passed on to you and to me to continue the mission glorifying the Lord by our life. It's up to each of us to let the fire of the Holy Spirit burn within our hearts, allowing it to consume us and to enable us to carry forward the mission that others have begun. St. Catherine of Siena once said, if you are what you should be, you will set the world ablaze. This Pentecost and Memorial Day weekend, having received Christ in the Eucharist, let us go forth to be Christ for others, setting the world ablaze with the peace and mercy and love of God. God bless you.